A group of high school students from Ohio were recently in residence at the University of Arizona's Biosphere 2, a major research laboratory. The students engaged in a project-based education model, collecting samples and conducting scientific research. Uh, MC Squared STEM is a, a project-based STEM school in Cleveland, Ohio that takes all the content that the students need and wraps it into these uh, engaging projects. Uh, so the projects incorporate not only the science and the math, but also the social studies, the English, the art, uh, the foreign language, all the different things that a student may be studying at that particular time. This is the second time that our school has gone to the biosphere, and we're here to do a number of things. First and foremost, to enjoy the weather, have a wonderful experience from an educational perspective as well as a cultural perspective, and then from, scientific, from a t scientific perspective, understand VOCs, understand soil samples, and understand trace gases. We have our whole sophomore class here to do studies on all three of those. We're trying to understand how different plants from the desert and the rainforest and other biomes can, can be um, sources of, of useful organic material for humans, for medicine, for fuel, for um, manufacturing of plastics and rubber. And so they are looking at volatile organic com compounds um, these are organic compounds that are gases that are released and we are measuring those with a pretty sophisticated instrument called a GCMS which is a uh, it measures the compounds based on mass. Our curriculum is based on project-based learning so everything that the students do curriculum wise from each class that they go to there's an understanding of well when you leave social studies you can apply that to English when you leave English, that can be applied to math. When you leave math, that can be applied to engineering. When you leave engineering, that can be applied to science. So what we've been doing since the school has been open has prepared us to come out to Arizona. We put our students into situations that are authentic. Um, so we didn't create these research uh, experiences for them to come here. We actually uh, worked with the University of Arizona and identified the research projects that they already had going on here at the Biosphere. And then we uh, worked with uh, both uh, the staff out here at the Biosphere and uh, the uh, faculty members from U of A to actually incorporate our students right into the research that they're doing.